What's up, Dennis Athletes? It's Chris Heria. Today, I'll be continuing on the series of how to start calisthenics and showing you how to unlock an iconic exercise, a move that will take you from beginner calisthenics training and transitioning you on to begin training for advanced calisthenics, allowing you to start incorporating and utilizing harder exercises like the full planche push-ups and 90-degree handstand push-up. And that movement is the 90-degree hold, otherwise known as the bent arm planche. With this exercise, your entire body weight is lifted and supported with your hands. Getting comfortable holding and being able to work with your own body weight is going to tear a lot of muscle fibers and build an enormous amount of strength as you're trying to keep your body weight even from the midline while balancing your entire weight on your hands. And adding a balance factor recruits your stabilizing muscle fibers, which is only going to allow you to build more strength, which not every exercise may do efficiently. Most advanced calisthenics exercises, you're repping your entire body weight, and this is a great introduction to that. Now, regardless how much fitness experience you have, if you don't know the right progressions to train towards this exercise, chances are you're probably not going to be able to do it. But by following along with today's routine, even if you're a complete beginner, I'm going to show you from the very beginning beginning, step by step, each progression that you're going to work on to build your strength and eventually be able to 90 degree hold. And for those of you that already know how, this is still going to be one hell of a workout and it's going to increase your hold time on your 90 degree hold. So with that said, if you're ready to get started, all you're going to need to do is download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open up to the YouTube workout section. You should be able to find this workout routine. Smash the like button on this video before we get started and then we're ready to go. As I said before, I'm going to run you through every single progression that's going to build your strength up to eventually being able to do a 90 degree hold, starting with the very first progression that a complete beginner can get started with. You can think of the progressions as levels. You want to pass each level until you get to a level that you can't pass. Then you will train all previous levels, starting with the hardest level that you can do and drop setting down to the easiest level. So for example, if you're stuck at the fourth progression or level four and you can't get to five, you would train level four, three, two, and one to build your strength up to eventually being able to do level five. And you do the same thing to build your strength up to level six, seven, and so forth until you've mastered the nine degree hold. When you get to the hardest progression that you can achieve, you want to train it for at least one to two reps every minute on the minute for a couple minutes straight before drop setting onto the easier progressions. That's how you're going to build your strength. So now that you know exactly how to train with these progressions, I'm going to show you the very first one that absolutely anybody can get started with. That's going to be the push-up hold. So we're going to get down into a push-up position. Make sure you're in completely perfect form, straight from your toes to your back. Go all the way down and hold. You want to be able to hold this position for at least 30 seconds to 45 seconds before moving on to the next progression. I'm just going to hold it for a couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. So there we have a very basic introductory movement that absolutely anybody can do. This is actually the basic idea of what the 90 degree hold will be, holding the bottom of a push up, except with your feet off the ground and holding from your center line, allowing you to hold your entire body weight. For now, you just wanna be able to build this up and hold it comfortably for 30 to 45 seconds. Now I'm gonna show you a progression that's gonna build your strength and allow you to lift your lower body off the ground. That's gonna be reverse leg raises. All you need is a surface. I'm gonna be using the countertop and you just raise your legs off the ground like you would in a 90 degree hold. So I'm gonna go for 15 repetitions. Hold on, all the way up, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your back, all the way back down. You don't wanna rush this one. one hold it all right there we have the reverse leg raises the reverse leg raises emphasizing on lifting your lower body and the push-up hold emphasizing on raising your upper body in combination is beginning to build your strength to be able to hold your entire body weight off the ground so once you've been training both of those exercises for a while and you've mastered them you're ready to move on to the third progression which will be pseudo planche push-ups where that new strength is going to be required this is the exercise that's going to develop your pushing strength to be able to push your entire body weight from your midline. And that's one of the main keys to unlocking the 90 degree hold. You're going to need to be holding from the center of gravity for any object to be able to balance from a single point. And from the bottom of a push-up position, we're going to slowly transition our hands to be able to push from further down with the pseudo planche push-ups. I'm going to go for 10 repetitions and then break it down for you guys. As you can see, I want to get them all ready by my waistline. Alright, there we have the pseudo planche push-ups. 
Now, just trying those for the first time, it's gonna be very difficult to start pushing from your waistline. So I just want you to gradually get there. Work on this exercise for a while, as well as the previous progressions. Start trying to get your hands a bit lower and lower as you do your push-ups. And after some time of training this, eventually you're gonna build the strength to be able to push as low as from your waistline. And once you can do that with perfect form for at least five to 10 repetitions, you're ready for the next progression. And that's gonna be the pseudo planche push-up hold. It's basically the same thing we just did, except holding the bottom position. I wanna see if you can get down and do at least 15 seconds with me right now. Lean forward, come all the way down. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, there you have it. If you were able to easily complete that without cheating yourself and your hands by your waistline, you're definitely ready for the next progression. Otherwise, you wanna practice this progression for a while, as well as the previous progressions, and be able to hold this for at least 20 seconds. Remember, you can do these holds every minute on the minute for about five to 10 minutes before drop setting down to the easier progressions. Make sure you've mastered all the previous progressions because you're really gonna need it for this next one. The fifth progression is gonna be 90 degree hold toe taps. So I'm gonna get down, go for 10 reps, show you what it looks like, and I want you to try it with me. You can also just put them down and switch. This would be an easier version. But there you have the 90 degree alternating toe taps. When you're first starting off with this exercise, you can start by just lifting one foot off the ground and then alternating. Eventually, the stronger you get, you'll be able to tap the ground nice and controlled and have both of your feet at least for a moment in the air. And after time of working with this exercise and the progressions, you're gonna be able to hold that moment for even longer and longer. Starting off with a one second 90 degree hold and working on increasing that time with all the progressions. You wanna be able to master this progression for at least 10 reps in a row. And by that time, you should be able to do at least one to three seconds of a 90 degree hold. And if you still haven't gotten it by then or to increase it even more I'm gonna show you the last progression this progression is called the 90 degree lean plus raise where we're gonna be raising both of our feet off into a 90 degree hold at the same time so by this point if you've comfortably mastered every single progression you should have the strength to be able to do this last one we're gonna get into a 90 degree hold from a pseudo push-up position just for a moment and then come back down we're gonna go for at least eight repetitions so let's go down lean forward till our feet come off the ground and come back There we have it, the last progression to unlocking your 90 degree hold and building some insane upper body strength. And these are the routines that are gonna have you not just looking strong, actually being strong. So by the time you've practiced this for a while and be able to complete this entire workout, you should be able to hold a 90 degree for at least 10 seconds. I'm gonna get down and show you guys what that looks like. There you have it, 90 degree hold just like that. And with just seven exercises, I already have an insane pump. This is an exercise that will benefit absolutely anybody. Do not get intimidated or discouraged by this exercise. I've laid down the guide step by step with the workouts to be able to unlock it, even if you're a complete beginner. This is the same exact routine and exercises that I use to unlock my 90 degree, which as I mentioned before, eventually led me to training a lot more advanced calisthenics, incorporating that into my training like the full planche pushups, 90 degree pushups, full planche, and so much more. Now lastly, for a smoother transition into to each progression, allowing you to build your strength and get to the next level with ease, you can always pick up a resistance band at thenx.com slash shop. Using a resistance band with any of these progressions is gonna leave even more body weight, allowing you to get comfortable and work any of these progressions and eventually unlocking and mastering them and moving up the progression tree and reaching your end goal, mastering the 90 degree hold. And the resistance bands will also help you with well throughout your fitness journey, adding assistance or even resistance to any of your workouts. I've been using resistance bands for years and they're super effective when trying to progress to harder exercises like a one-arm pull-up, muscle-up, full planche, and even full planche push.
pushups. Pick up one resistance band or a full set all at thenx.com slash shop. And right now we have our biggest sale of the year. That's 25% off shop wide. We only do this one time a year. So if you've ever wanted to get your hands on our workout equipment or workout apparel at its lowest price, right now is the time to do that with our Black Friday sale of 25% off the entire store. And Cyber Monday sale right now is the lowest price you're ever gonna find our Harry Weight vest. So if you wanna to wanna to take your training to the next level, we just dropped the brand new collection, the 3M Harry Weight vest, the iridescent Harry Weight vest, and so much more. Make sure to go to chrisharrier.com as well as stenix.com slash shop. Get your weight vest, get your workout gear before we're all sold out. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about or what you'd like to see in the next series of how to start calisthenics. We really appreciate you commenting and engaging with our video and it helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there. And to show our appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right now with the bell notifications on so that you never miss a video. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. And don't forget to get this workout on your phone as well as full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you in the best shape of your life. Download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world. And lastly, before I go, for more of my content, make sure you're following my blog channel. That's youtube.com slash chrisharia. And make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. Every single one of my platforms, I always do a giveaway on every upload. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following. And I will see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love and peace out.